Hello and welcome to Tech Me Out. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 tweaks from Cydia. First up, we have lock memos. Now with the lock memos, you are given the ability to set a memo to appear either on your lock screen when you unlock your device or not at all. So I'm going to change my alert to on lock screen. And I already entered in some text here, basically just to kind of demo it. But you have four lines to choose from to enter four different memos. So I'm going to now go to my lock screen. And upon my lock screen appearing, you'll see that I now have the memo that I entered within settings. Now this will appear every time you go to your lock screen. So it's definitely a good constant reminder for things that you want to remember to do. Now, if you look down here at the bottom on the lock screen, you'll notice that I have an animated icon, which is supposed to be the camera icon that's typically located down here in the bottom right hand corner. But mine's is now pushed to the center with a tweet called cam tap. So it simplifies your lock screen by centering the camera grabber that's typically down at the bottom and moving it to the center. And I achieved the little flipping animation that the icon is doing with the tweak called camera grabber animate. So with the two of those tweaks combined, that's how I achieved this effect here. So if I tap on this icon, it automatically takes me into my camera. Another tweak that all of you may find useful is called change password anywhere. So I'm at my lock screen now. Say for instance, I wanted to quickly change my password without having to go into settings. I'm gonna show you a very quick method to do so. So I'm just gonna enter in my passcode right now. I'm gonna jump back to my home screen. And now that I'm at my home screen, per activation method you set from within settings, you can activate the option to change your passcode from anywhere on your device. Right now, mine's is set to triple pressing the home button and I'm prompted to change my passcode, but I currently have to enter in the one that I have, which is a bunch of ones. Then I'm going to put in my new one, which I'm now going to make a bunch of eights. Enter it one more time to verify. And just to show you that it worked, when I go to my lock screen now, and I go to unlock my device, typing in the ones that I previously entered no longer works but typing in my new passcode that I just set does work. So there are no settings to configure. You just have to choose the activator method from within settings and you're off and rolling. Now for our next tweak, we have iWidgets. Now what iWidgets does is it allows you to put widgets onto your home screen. So I've already downloaded a couple from Cydia and how I found them was basically going to Cydia, typing in iWidgets and hitting the search icon. And from there, it pulled up a few options for me to put some widgets into my iWidgets application. So to activate it, in case you missed what I did, I simply long held onto the home screen and it pulled up my widget options. So I can just select Clocky, for instance, and hit add. It's gonna add to my home screen. Then I can also select Mac widget, select add. It's now on my home screen, which this one looks kind of cool now that I've added it. And it seems to be interactive as well. So as you can see, I can select the calendar icon and just kind of play with it a little bit. You can add different ones and just kind of have at it, see which one you like. To move it, you simply hold it down, drag it and drop it where you want it to go just as you would any other icon on your device. Now, for those of you who want to be able to simply delete your alarms without having to select edit from within the alarm application, then the tweak clock delete might be very useful to you. So now instead of selecting edit and then hitting the minus symbols on the left-hand side, you can now just simply swipe over the time towards the right and select delete. So it makes it more like how you delete other things in iDevice by simply swiping and deleting. Very simple tweak, but it might be some use to you. Coming in next, we have Flag Paint. Now what Flag Paint allows you to do is change the color of your notification banner, as well as select the option for it to be transparent, 
In addition to removing the icon that will appear with the notification in your banner, and you can also center the text or have the animation fade in. So something pretty cool about this tweak is that it has the show test banner built into the settings for it. So you don't have to send yourself those random messages to test out the banner. So what I'm going to do now is select show test banner. And as you can see, it tinted the background of the banner. And also I have the semi-transparent option on, so I'm gonna turn that off. Hit show test banner, and I'm gonna also remove the icon, hit show test banner. So this just allows you to customize your banners just a little bit with a few different options, but nothing really complex. However, I still find it useful and I enjoy being able to change the color of my banner. Speaking of banners, with the tweak immediate send, you can quickly respond back to messages which you receive. So I'm just going to tap this banner here. So now instead of being automatically taken back to the chat window, it takes me to this pop-up screen here where I would then type my message up here at the top. And after I've entered in my message, I have the option to send it as an SMS message or an iMessage. Or if you want, you can go to the chat window by selecting go to mobile SMS. So this tweak does work under the assumption that you already know what the conversation is or what the person said to you, or you don't care what the person said to you and you just know what you want to say. Next up, we have HUD fade. This is a very, very simple tweak. What it does is it makes your HUD fade in and out. So as you can see, I'm simply turning the volume up on my device. And the HUD that appears has a very small fade in effect and fade out effect. And last but not least, we have Boover. What Boover allows you to do is customize the badges that appear on your icons on your home screen. You do have to respring for these changes to take effect, but you have the option to hide the labels, change the position. So right now, mine's is on the top right. So if I select it bottom right, and go back into the settings. You also have the option to do it by pixel, so you can get it just pretty much as precise as you could possibly imagine. You also have the option to change the size of the badge. However, it is mentioned that the option to do so is an experimental setting and that ranges from zero to two should be all right and to report any problems to John T. Lang. So that's just something to note if you're going to experiment with the size of the badge. So I'm just going to respring my device now. So that's pretty much it. I honestly think it's centering it right now because I have center badges enabled as well. But anywho, that's the tweak. I hope you enjoyed it as well as the other nine tweaks that I showed you today. If so, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe if you have not already. To stay further in touch with me, you can follow me on Twitter, like my Facebook page, or check out my random pictures of the day on Instagram. All at Tech Me Out. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-0-U-T. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.